वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन अदर इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ लेप्रोस्कोपिक पोर्ट साइटिंग दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द जनरल सर्जरी रेजिडेंट्स एंड यू नो वेल दैट एवरी ऑपरेशन इन द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड इज शिफ्टेड टू टू ऑपरेट बाई लेप्रोस्कोप सो द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ लेप्रोस्कोपिक पोर्ट साइटिंग शूड be an important part of the training of a surgical resident and it starts right after its induction into the general surgery uh, residency so here we are going to discuss the important basic principles of laparoscopic port sighting although with experience you can modify the principles with your ease but the main principles and the main uh, concepts of uh, port sighting will remain the same Uh, so uh, if you haven't subscribed on the channel kindly subscribe my surgical adventures for more videos regarding surgery and medicine so in this video we are going to discuss laparoscopic port sighting the few highlights of this presentation includes what is base type of concept of laparoscope how we identify the target which organ is to be removed how we create the arcs and what is the importance of these arcs what is manipulation angle what is elevation angle what is azimuth angle and what is sorting that um, what is the angle between the two instruments and angle between the telescope and the instruments so uh, then we will uh, discuss uh, examples of laparoscopic cholecystectomy and then we will discuss the example of left colectomy so uh, now we will discuss the most commonly and uh, the most initial procedure for the general surgical resident by laparoscope that is laparoscopic cholecystectomy Uh, the whole uh, cholecystectomy is now shifted from open to laparoscopic and the uh, significant difference between the operating time and injuries are observed in the laparoscopic cholecystectomy now suppose this is the abdomen of the patient and this is a line drawn between the xiphi cernum and the symphysis pubis this star is the target area that is the right hypochondrium where the gallbladder lies and this is our target area now we will focus our all direction of all instruments towards the this area so this is if it so the length between the xiphi cernum and symphysis pubis is roughly about 36 cm in adults in peds the length may be less and in fatty patients the length uh, may be increased for peds purposes and for fatty patient the length of the instrument of the laparoscope um, uh, also vary and they are of greater or shorter length but in normal adults um, person the length between the xiphi cernum and the symphysis pubis is 36 cm and this is also the length of the adult laparoscopic instruments that is same length as between the xiphi cernum and symphysis pubis so let us suppose the star sign is the target area and is the gallbladder and we have to remove the gallbladder by laparoscope so we have to put ports inside the abdomen so the first port we should put inside the abdomen is the telescope that is we have to inspect the abdomen uh, via telescope what uh, what is the anatomy and what uh, what is the Uh, internal uh, situation of the uh, abdomen so the first port you always put uh, is the telescope and it is above or below the umbilicus if you are doing upper abdominal surgery then it is feasible to put the uh, telescope below the umbilicus and if you are doing uh, the surgery of the lower abdomen that is hysterectomy and other ovarian or gynecological surgery we will put the port uh, in supra uh, umbilicus umbilical position also uh, the umbilicus being the central part of the abdomen gives you a better perception of the depth uh, if you put on the sides of the abdomen the depth perception will be distorted it may be more on one side and maybe less on the other side so umbilical being a central point of the abdomen give you a better depth perception so this line drawn and between the umbilicus and target area consider it as a telescope that you have put the telescope and you have visualized the gallbladder now 
after that uh, you have to uh, make an arc around the target area around uh, it, this arch first arc should be about 18 cm away from the target area that is from the star sign now you have to put another arc this arc should be 24 centimeter away from the target area now on table you don't have the measuring tape so how will you measure this 18 centimeter and 12 centimeter 24 centimeter length you all know the length of the instrument is about 36 centimeter so the half of 36 is 18 so the, if you put an instrument between a blicus and target area so the length between uh, half of the length of the instrument is 18 centimeter and two by third of the uh, length of the instrument is 24 centimeter so you can measure you can measure to draw the arcs uh, on the abdomen um, by placing an instrument um, you can draw these arcs uh, if you are doing for the first time uh, by marker or by pyodine on the patient abdomen now what are the purposes of these two arcs uh, the purpose of these two arcs is that that the instrument that, that the port sides you have put the telescope now you, your working ports on you in your left and right hand should be placed between 18 and 24 centimeter it should not go beyond 18 centimeter or you know, towards the target area or it should not go away from 24 centimeter from the target area if you go more near to the target area that is more beyond to the uh, 18 centimeter then uh, the, uh, you are both instrument then, then you will apply uh, more force and uh, you, the, the instruments of the, you are both right and left instrument will collide with each other and if you put uh, uh, it is like a example of a liver uh, type 1 liver type 2 liver and basically these all we are working with type 2 liver not type 1 and not type three levers and everywhere we put more force and less uh, work is done so first port you will apply is between this 18 and 24 centimeter area now uh, the what should be this is the one dimension that is uh, long uh, vertical direction now what is the longitudinal direction uh, distance between the ports so the distance between the port insertion and the telescope imaginary line is should be uh, about uh, this distance this should be 7.5 centimeters that is one port should be 7.5 centimeter away from the telescope line on the abdomen and the other distance should be 7.5 centimeter so the total distance between two ports should be 15 centimeters and uh, the distance between one port and the telescope uh, line should be a uh, central line should be uh, 7.5 centimeter now if you put both ports 15 centimeter apart then the angle made between them is 60 degree this angle is very important this 60 degree angle this angle is known as manipulation angle that is the angle between the two ports and it should be 60 degree otherwise you are both instrument with collide with each other and uh, one thing more important this um, this 60 degree should can be 30 degree on one side of the telescope and 30 degree on the other side of the telescope or this 30 or uh, 60 degree can be 15 degree on one side of the telescope and 45 degree on the other side of the telescope and uh, depending upon the uh, target area but normally uh, 30 30 degree on both side of the telescope is sufficient to make it a 60 degree and this 60 degree is known as the manipulation angle now this is another angle that is the this angle between the port and a telescope this angle is known as azimuth angle that is angle between the telescope and the port it varies between 15 degree to 45 degree that is it is half the uh, angle between the um, uh, manipulation angle um, which I already said uh, which can be 15 degree to 45 degree so as much triangle uh, angle can be 15 degree to 45 degree
So these two angles are very important. Now what is elevation angle? Suppose this is the skin of the patient and you have to put a port inside the abdomen. Uh, abdomen. So this angle of the port with the skin is known as elevation angle. This should be 30 degree. This is the important ergonomics of uh, laparoscopic surgery and you have to uh, adjust the table of the patient according to your height um, so that the port angle should be elevation angle should be 30 degree not more or not less than if it angle is uh, more then it means that your table is uh, quite low and you have to uh, work with difficulty and if uh, your elevation angle is less than 30 degree it means your table is quite high and uh, all the stress uh, in the uh, of the surgery will be on your shoulders and your manipulation will be affected Achha. one more thing there is a point on the left hypochondrium, uh, uh, left uh, sorry ep, uh, upper quadrant, uh, which is three centimeter below the costal margin, and this point is known as Palmer's point. Uh, this point is also where this uh, star shaped, uh, sun shaped uh, sign is the Palmer's point, which is three centimeter below the left costal uh, margin. What is the significance? The significance is this if there is midline surgery or midline incision of the patient of previous surgery, previous cesarean section or previous laparotomy, and you cannot put the telescope in the umbilical position, then you can put the telescope in this Palmer's point where there are no adhesions and you can uh, uh, do the surgery of the right side and pelvis with ease in this position. Now, uh, this is a simple concept of base diamond. You look at the base diamond shape um, when we uh, put the both index fingers of a hand and thumbs of the hand together. Uh, so, simply what you have to do when you are going to uh, operate on a patient. Simply uh, combine your both index fingers and put those two index fingers on the target area uh, like this in, in this diamond shape so uh, now uh, where your both thumbs combine this will be the minimum distance of, to put your uh, telescope or umbilical port so this is uh, if you uh, measure this is the target area and this is umbilical port and this is the distance so this is the you can measure your distance uh, on your own hands uh, in normal adults, the dis and now the distance between the index finger tip and thumb in this position is roughly about 18 centimeters. So this will automatically tell you that this is a minimum distance uh, between which you cannot, you should not put the port. You should put your port away from the 18 centimeter or away from your thumbs a little away from your thumb two or two cent three centimeter away but not inside the and diameter of your uh, thumb so the my right index finger um, also shows a line which is about seven centimeter you can measure and uh, you are this distance of your midline from the anatomical snuff box this is roughly about 6.5 to 7 centimeter and this will be your right hand port and the, your left index finger same as the right uh, will is about 7 centimeter I mean, you can measure these distances on your own hands uh, so you have the idea that how much distance between the index finger and thumb is yours and what is the distance between the two and stomachal snuff boxes when you place the um, both fingers like that you have to place like your fingers like that on the patient abdomen uh, okay like uh, the both index finger on the target area and, and then adjusting the umbilical ports and other ports and the both anatomical snuff boxes should be the your uh, should be your port sides insertions that at least at this distance you should put your pores with experience you can modify your practices but for basic first year residents and people who are starting now their laparoscopic career this uh, anatomical snuff boxes you cannot come closer than to um, uh, to each other than this anatomical snuff box so this angle made will be automatically a uh, manipulation angle and it will be a 60 degree and this angle made should be the azimuth angle between the port and telescope and it will be uh, 15 to 45 degree. 
so uh, let us consider another example of laparoscopic left colectomy here the um, is the umbilicus and this sun shape is the target area that is left lower quad left lower uh, left iliac fossa you can say this is the target area now the target area is here. same you have place your fingers like that on the index fingers on the target area your thumbs will automatically come in the umbilical area you can put the telescope above or below the uh, uh, umbilicus it is preferable to put port above the umbilicus so you put uh, arc one at 18 centimeter half of the length of the instrument and another arc of 24 two third of the instrument of the laparoscope simply you have made the arcs then the we put the telescope this black line shows the telescope this is the uh, your uh, left hand port and this is your right hand port this will automatically will be the manipulation angle and uh, that is uh, between the two ports that may be 30 or 30 degree on both sides of the telescope or 15 or 45 degree and this will be the azimuth triangle and sorry azimuth angle between telescope and the port which may vary from 15 to 45 degree so thank you so much for this video keep sharing this video and inshallah we will come with another video soon uh, with another topic thank you so much